what is for you will happen to and for you. Time and other people can never jeopardize that. And someone else's path can never knock you off your own. You can do that though. I remember I was praying and usually I pray in silence because I don't, I rather listen to conscious instead of just filling up the air with all these like conceited wants and these vain requests to God. In this moment, I learned adore your detour, Lala. Getting there sooner is not always good. I know if I would have started speaking 10 years ago, I would probably be stressed out and being pulled in many directions and not have slowed down long enough to even hear God's direction or know that I can hear just by being silent. The best thing you can do in life is accept and appreciate the creator's timing and not your timing. Most of the time when we feel like we are ready for a journey and you just can't seem to find happiness in it, you always feel like you're not doing enough to get further ahead and faster enough, I say, the place you're at, find peace in that process and that progress that you have made. This is an adventure to develop and evolve into a better person. That's purpose. Most times, things we get fast don't even last or isn't worth having. And if we slow down long enough and have patience to observe, we would know. I think the biggest message that came upon me was that you know, something that really cripples our patience with ourselves is called the compare virus. When you compare yourself to someone else and it makes you feel hopeless. And I know you heard the term comparison is the thief of joy. But not only that, it's the self-esteem killer. Comparison is like a leech <laughs> that sucks you dry of all contentment. Like if you are following people on social media that you tend to compare yourself to or, you know, you can't watch their stuff because it reminds you of where you think you should be. That's more so about your acceptance of you and your insecurities and sometimes a deadly sin of envy and dare I say jealousy. If you see someone posting, they've created content that, you know, shows off their accomplishments or those people that just be like dancing freely or always smiling, taking selfies. It's really, they're doing something that really fear hasn't allowed you to do. And you say stuff like, oh boy, and oh, they doing too much. Or you scroll past real fast. Just know envy and jealousy is at your door. But instead of comparing, you should be inspired. So you can then in return, inspire someone else at the right timing. Maybe your timing is delayed because the, the people, actually, maybe your time is being delayed because the people you will inspire one day aren't just mentally ready to accept what God will teach you to speak to them. Stop chasing perfection and purpose because it was never lost. Sometimes your life takes a detour so you can learn different skills. So when you get to where you imagine yourself being, you know how to stay there. What you don't realize is that no one's journey will even be uniquely designed like yours. That's the beauty in it. It's uniquely designed for you. Don't be so quick to eject your passion because the rough sketch isn't looking like this, you know, Basquiat painting or this Picasso painting or an Instagram filter picture. You sit in there wondering and, you know, trying to do something that someone else is doing and God is trying to save you from something that you don't even understand that they secretly struggling with. You're trying to take on somebody else's seasonal struggle as a lifetime venture. A huge thing that I love about being an artist is creating a space where I could figure me out and understanding the importance of being unique. I'll tell you why a lot of depression happens. People have to start being original and standing in truth and stop stealing ideas and content you see others excelling in, thinking it will work for you. We see it all the time. Some people want a life from seeing a snapshot of someone else's moment. Often you cause depression upon yourself because of the expectations that you put upon yourself. And you amount purpose to self-fulfilling careers. And that's an even deeper topic. While that career stimulates you and you're excelling, it's your purpose, right? As soon as it's not working for you, 
it's no longer your purpose. And that's when depression seeps in. I'd rather try 20 different careers until I learn what I'm great at and what I truly enjoy doing versus me trying to be someone else. It's hard figuring yourself out, let alone trying to imitate someone else's insta joy. When you stand in your wholeness, you realize you are enough and purpose is simply to fill yourself with joy. And when you're having a bad day, understand that's okay as well. Long as you don't stay in that mindset, learn from it and move on so you can be your best self and know that the grass is not always greener on social media. We often have this need to detox from social media. We see it all the time and we hear it all the time. And I ask, which I helped myself get over this was, how are you detoxing from an app that you chose to download into your phone? You chose to click follow and you told the algorithm exactly the content that you wanted to see. So to fix that, Start following things that are for you, that uplift you. Stop following low vibrational accounts, content that doesn't bring you any joy, any message. Follow things in, that, you know, inspire you. And then you won't have to detox from it. Simple solution. We are in control of the things that we absorb into our soul. Always remember that. Don't detox from it. Make it work for you. If you're ready to paint the life that you want to live and start every day with a blank canvas, please follow me on IG at Dope Ass Artists or on all social media platforms, the Blank Canvas Podcast.